Good morning. I'm Technician Jay Casillas with the Denver Police Media Relations Unit. And on behalf of Denver Police Chief Paul Pazin, I welcome each of you to this promotion ceremony. Today, seven members of the department are being promoted to the ranks of Lieutenant and Sergeant. These seven officers seated here today have devoted a tremendous amount of time, effort, and energy to get to this very moment and are now being recognized for their skills and accomplishments. And so far in their Denver police careers, they have already served the Denver community for a combined 101 years. And we look forward to seeing them continue building their legacies in their new leadership roles. At this time, will you please stand if you are able for the presentation of the colors by the Denver Police Honor Guard. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order. Please remain standing for the invocation delivered by Denver Police Chaplain David Stute. Begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear special guests, friends, family of our officers being promoted today, thank you for coming to celebrate these officers. I will be very, very quick, I promise. Congratulations to you. You have spent hours upon hours getting ready for this day. Each of you put in the time learning how to be leaders, earning the trust of your peers, and you are very well respected and you're loved. Your uniform will change. Your job and your duties will be different, but I pray that you will not change. Continue to be the men and the women that you are. I would ask you to be like Daniel when preparing for your promotion ceremony, I couldn't help but be reminded of the prophet Daniel of the Old Testament. Daniel was an Israelite. He was a slave, and he was exiled to Babylon. And the king of the time, Nebuchadnezzar, and so you can't be promoted until you spell Nebuchadnezzar. I'm just <laughs> kidding. Had a dream. He was tormented by it. He commanded his wise men of his kingdom to interpret his dream. But he forgot parts of his dream. The king demanded that the wise men not only interpret, but tell the king what it meant. The king said, if you don't, you will all be executed. But if you succeed, you will be promoted and blessed beyond all means. There will be no executions today. Of course, the astrologers the wise men, they couldn't do this. Daniel, the prophet of the true God, immediately prayed to his God for help. And here's the points that I wanted to make. He remained calm and put courage in his God. He approached the soldiers in charge of putting him and the other wise men to death. He spoke with wisdom and tact. He asked for an audience with the king and he got the time to speak with the king who he knew was not happy, was not an approachable guy. He then began by explaining his interpretation and that it comes from the one true God. He did not take credit. He told the king his dream and what it meant, stating he was a powerful king, but another one would come and be even more powerful. He told the truth. He was bold but he also pleaded for others. So he stood up for his coworkers, even though they did not have his back. He was a true protector, reminding all of them, including a heathen king of the true God, reminding them that this God loves his people. So the amazing thing is that the king bowed to Daniel's God, 
And the king then placed Daniel in a high position, lavished many gifts upon him. The king made Daniel ruler over the entire province of Babylon, and he placed him in charge of all of his wise men. You, you have been calm. You have courage. Continue to speak with wisdom. Continue to speak with tact. Give credit where credit is due. Remember that your team is your team. Continue to teach. Continue to lead. Speak truth. Be bold. Be the protectors that you are. Please know that the true God loves you and protects you. You have a Savior in Jesus who, shared, who showed us this love in the forgiveness of sins. And finally, lead your men and women. Be an example. When you are down, look for help. Encourage each other. Continue to protect and continue to serve. Amen. At this time, the Department of Safety Chief of Staff, Jeff Holliday, will now share his thoughts on today's promotions. Uh, thank you and good morning uh, to Chief Pazin, uh, the Denver uh, uh, Command Staff, uh, the officers of the Denver Police Department, and assembled dignitaries. Uh, thank you for having me today. Executive Director Armando Sadate uh, could not join us uh, this morning, uh, but he wanted me to ensure that I extended from him uh, his heartfelt congratulations uh, uh, to all of you on your promotion. I'm honored to join you this morning in celebration of your promotion. I would also like to commend all of you in the Denver Police Department for your hard work and dedication in keeping our community safe. I know it hasn't been easy, an easy time to work in law enforcement of late. There have been many obstacles and much adversity to overcome. Nevertheless, it is inspiring to see you continue to answer the call and lead the Denver Police Department through these times. Without question, we face immense challenges in public safety, and it's going to take a thoughtful and concerted effort to continue to build trust within the community, make meaningful change, all while continuing to support one another. Leadership, especially in challenging times, requires exceptional resolve. I have every confidence that each of you is the right leader at the right time to continue the department forward. I trust You'll use your new positions to inspire hope, resilience, and positivity throughout the Denver Police Department and the city. In short, we look to each of you to do what the exceptional leaders of the Denver Police Department have always done, lead from the front. We need your leadership to guide us in making the improvements and substantive change necessary to ensure that Denver is a stronger, safer city moving forward and that all of our officers have full faith and trust in our department. Please know that we in the Department of Safety look forward to working with each of you in your new capacity uh, to serve Denver's communities and strengthen the support and care we offer our officers. We are always here as a resource and to support you. Congratulations. They are well-deserved promotions, and I'm proud to serve the Denver community alongside of each of you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Holliday. Now, Chief Pazin will share his words of encouragement with the leaders of being promoted today. What a great day, what a special day to celebrate uh, the women and men getting promoted. Uh, I certainly want to uh, thank their families. Uh, we all know that uh, although these uh, officers, investigators, uh, and sergeants worked their tail off to get promoted, they didn't do it by themselves. Uh, they needed the support uh, of their family. They needed the support of their friends, their loved ones, uh, to help them get here. They needed the support of their peers uh, to help them achieve these goals. So although we recognize 
these seven women and men. Uh, it is the, the family, friends, and support system that brought them here today. Um, I also want to acknowledge uh, the Denver Civil Service Commission. Uh, these tests are not easy to administer. We've put a lot of pressure on the Civil Service Commission, not only with uh, promotional exams, but uh, trying to get firefighters and police officers through uh, the entry level process and into the academy. So uh, they're working hard. Uh, we need them to, to work hard, to continue to work hard because uh, the challenges in filling uh, positions is uh, very difficult. Um, yes, we are here to, uh, to celebrate, uh, to celebrate the years of preparation, the hard work that has gone into uh, achieving the goal of a leadership position in uh, the Denver Police Department. And uh, I'll piggyback on a couple of words you've already heard here. Uh, this is not about just getting uh, a new rank uh, sewn onto your sleeve, uh, a new uh, rank put on your collar, uh, more pay, a different title. Uh, as indicated, law enforcement policing has arguably never been as difficult as it is today. It's never been as complex as it is uh, today never been as uh, under the, the same level of scrutiny as we face today. So when we're talking about leading the women and men of this police department through this complex, difficult job, we need leaders to step up, to lead from the front, to lead by example, to help the officers and investigators to ensure that uh, we are able to support our community in the best way possible. So uh, I have never specifically talked about active supervision during any one of our promotion ceremonies. It's a conversation that we have uh, more in staff meetings and uh, meeting uh, out in, in roll calls. But um, I'm not asking for active supervision anymore. Uh, it is the expectation. It is the only way that we can move forward as a department and ensure that uh, our officers, our investigators, our supervisors are successful. So active supervision means you are uh, out uh, with our officers, uh, with our investigators, supporting them, helping them through uh, this very difficult job to ensure that they're successful so they can uh, help uh, replace us uh, when we move on and to, to help uh, ensure that our community gets the service uh, that they uh, deserve. So uh, you are being entrusted with greater responsibility. Uh, this is not making your job easier. Uh, it's making your job more important. And uh, you cannot lose sight uh, of that role. I'm proud uh, that, that we, uh, this uh, command staff and, and the supervisors, get to stand with you and help support you uh, during uh, this process. If you have uh, any uh, questions, uh, if you need uh, support yourself when you're in a difficult situation, then lean on your fellow uh, supervisors uh, to help you through that. Ask uh, the questions. Look for the, the supervisors that help guide you uh, to this process. Uh, that Take the best of, of the supervisors that you've had before. Uh, but it is, uh, it is not easy, it's gotten more difficult, uh, but it is uh, certainly uh, critically important as we move forward. Uh, lastly, uh, a couple of uh, pieces of advice that I think every police officer, every member of our department, professional staff, and sworn if they want to be successful here is uh, you work hard, you work smart, and you treat people right. Uh, if you follow that guidance, uh, you can't go wrong. So I wish you all success, safety in your new role, and congratulations to each of you. Congratulations to family and friends. Thank you so much for uh, helping to develop uh, the future leaders of this department. Stay safe. Thank you, Chief Payson. Now, with the assistance of Mr. Holliday and Chief Payson, we will begin our badge presentations. 
Lieutenant Ryan Harris. <laughs> Lieutenant Harris began serving with the Denver Police Department on October 1, 2007. He is attending Colorado State University where he studies organizational leadership. Lieutenant Harris's previous DPD assignments include DIA District 6 Patrol, <clears throat> District 6 SCAT Team, District 6 Downtown Motorcycle Unit, District 6 Investigations, District 6 Impact Team, and the DPD Vice Unit. His new assignment will be District 3. <clears throat> Joining him on stage are his wife, Cassie, daughter, Natalie, and son, Connor. Pinning on his new badge is his daughter, Natalie. Sergeant Donald Christopher Hardy. <laughs> Sergeant Hardy began serving with the Denver Police Department on November 1, 1999. Sergeant Hardy's previous DPD assignments include District 1 Patrol, District 1 SCAT and Impact Team, District 5 Patrol, District 5 Impact Team, Domestic Violence Unit, Counter Threats Section, Bias Motivated Crimes, and School Violence Detective. He has earned 23 commendations, including two Distinguished Service Crosses and two Star Awards. His new assignment will be District 1. Joining him on stage are his wife, Michael Ann Jones, and daughter, Jordan Spitzi, and son, Michael Chris Hardy. Depending on his new badge is his wife, Michael Ann Jones. <laughs> Sergeant Glenn T. Martin. Sergeant Martin began serving with the Denver Police Department on April 24, 2006. Sergeant Martin's previous DPD assignments include District 6 Patrol and Traffic Operations DUI Unit. He has earned numerous personnel, personal and unit awards from CDOT, IACP, and NHTSA. His new assignment will be District 4. Depending on his new badge is Chief Pazin. <laughs> Sergeant John W. Nelson. <laughs> Sergeant Nelson began serving with the Denver Police Department on January of 2006. He holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in Communications from the University of Colorado Boulder. Sergeant Nelson's previous DPD assignments include District 6 Patrol. His new assignment will be District 4. Joining him on stage is girlfriend Daniel Malinowski and his mother Phyllis Nelson. Depending on his new badge is his girlfriend Danielle Malinowski. <laughs> Sergeant Brandon T. Reyes. Sergeant Reyes began serving with the Denver Police Department on August 3rd, 2015. Sergeant Reyes' previous DPD assignments include District 1 Patrol and the Training Academy. He has earned the Denver Health Paramedic Legion of Merit Award as well as the Star Award. His new assignment will be District 5. Joining him on stage is his daughter, Kyliana Reyes, and pinning on his new badge is his daughter, Kyliana Reyes. Sergeant Darlene Vida. <laughs> Sergeant Vida began serving with the Denver Police Department on October 1, 1998. She holds a bachelor's degree in political science as well as a minor in criminal justice from the University of Wisconsin Parkside. Sergeant Vida's previous DPD assignments include District 1 Patrol, District 1 Technician, District 1 Corporal, Domestic Violence Detective, and detective of the firearm assault shoot team. She has earned a Chief's Unit Citation Award, two Life Saving Awards, one Community Service Award, one Star Award, four Official Commendations, seven Commendatory Letters, one Mile High Optimist Club Officer of the Month Award. And her new assignment will be District 2. Joining her on stage are her daughter Cadet Alex Wary 
and great nephew, Brandley Vida, depending on her new badge, are her, are her daughter, Alex Wary. Sergeant Brian Marshall. <laughs> Sergeant Marshall began serving with the Denver Police Department on April 21, 2006. He holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in Criminal Justice from Michigan State University. Sergeant Marshall's previous DPD assignments include District 2 Patrol, Gang Unit, Operation Support, and the Intelligence Unit. He has earned two star awards and several official commendations. His new assignments will be District 4. Joining him on stage are his wife, Catherine Marshall, and sons, Elwood and Forrest. Pinning on his new badge is his wife, Catherine Marshall. <laughs> Please join me in congratulating these seven deserving officers. Since today is all about recognizing dedication and exceptional effort, we would also like to recognize a very special person who is one of DPD's most, most faithful supporters. Deputy Chief Archer will share a few words about our loyal friend, Marsha Berger. As Technician Casillas just said, we're taking a moment to honor this very incredible human being that we all know, someone who for decades has supported the women and men of this police department. I first met this wonderful person 22 years ago when she was delivering newspapers out in Northeast Denver during the overnight hours. And she would stop by the station, she would bring raisins and cookies and oranges and anything to show support for the officers. When she would see officers taking a break at a 7-Eleven in town, she would stop and give them cookies that she had made. Uh, just showing her love and appreciation. She never forgot anybody's name. She knows your family members' names, which is just incredible. Um, her support also included typed letters, which we in District 2 then fondly called Marsha Grams. <laughs> and they were words of praise and support for the work of the officers out in the street that she had witnessed. And I can tell you, what, in my four years out there at District 2 as a sergeant, I had hundreds of those come through. We're guessing maybe there's thousands that she's written, which is a lot of time and a lot of energy for which we're all grateful. We know this job isn't easy, but knowing we have someone who supports us in the good and bad times helps us get through each day. Uh, her Facebook page says she dearly loves the Denver police officers. She's at every department ceremony, and we consider her part of our DPD family. So you figured out who I'm talking about is Marsha Berger. And because of her continued support, thoughtfulness, and kindness, we are honoring Ms. Marsha Berger today, presenting with her, her with a beautiful Denver Police Department badge necklace. For the bail system, and I have worked for the largest law firm this side of the Mississippi, and I have never seen so many fine people under one roof as who are, who are in this police department. You're awesome. You're incredible, and you make my heart sing.
May the true God bless you on the street and at home. May he guide you to be the best leaders. May he keep a smile on your face and give you an understanding heart. Amen. We pray. Creator God, I come to you in thanksgiving for these seven officers. How wonderful it is that they are being promoted to lieutenant and sergeant. I ask that you continue to watch over them all, continue to give them the humility and the boldness, the patience to lead and to teach their teams, give them the wisdom to be safe and to keep those they lead safe. As we pray for all of our police today, we ask that your strength would flow through them, giving the endurance they need to carry on. Give them encouragement that the work they do represents your character of justice and peace. We look forward to a day with no injustice and no oppression when you reign forever. We join with all creation in adoration of your precious name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. In closing, achieving promotion within the Durham Police Department is an exceptional accomplishment. These seven officers have demonstrated through a vigorous, demanding, and challenging promotional process that they have the ability to lead and guide others and to further the mission of the Denver Police Department. Again, congratulations. <laughs>